Oh boy, Mrs. Kitties. Meow. I really hope there isn't a giant real life tier list of every single FNAF plush ever made. <gasps> ah! Ah! Oh, and I really hope there aren't extras for giveaways. Ah! guys, Puggos Pizzeria here, and in today's video, we are doing a real life Five Nights at Freddy's plushie tier list. Now I'm gonna try my best in my video, in this video, not to show my face, might have to blur it, but yes, I have every single FNAF Funko plushie, we're not doing Jumbos, we're not doing Sanchis, we're not doing Uchus, just only the pure FNAF Funko plushies, and we're gonna be ranking them. S tier is the best plushies possible, these are like the beautiful or Teddy for that, you know, amazing ones. You know, A tier, that's pretty good. Those are some pretty good plushies. A tier's cool. B tier, they're, they're average. You know, that's a plushie. Look at that and you go, that's a FNAF plushie. And then you have F tier, and F tier means it's garbage. It's dookie. It's awful. So we will be going in order of waves, starting out with wave one. So starting off with the wave one Freddy Fazbear. Honestly, you know, he's just Freddy. There's not too much to say about Freddy Fazbear. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. They base a lot of plush off him. There's definitely, comparing him to the Sanchi one, there's definitely a lot to be kind of wanted with him. But I think he's pretty good. So we'll go ahead and we'll put Freddy Fazbear right here in A tier. I think that's a pretty nice A tier. Then, going ahead right on to Bonnie. Bonnie. These Bonnie, honestly, I really love Bonnie. Maybe I just got a good Bonnie plush. But I think the Bonnie Funko plush is just absolutely amazing. I think he really is a great plushie. Bonnie, S tier. Bonnie is a S tier plushie. Bonnie goes right there in S tier. Honestly, I really love Bonnie. Ugh. Ooh. Ew. 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 Chica. Ew. She's not bad. I'm being honest. I'm just playing it up. I think she's all right. I think she's an all right plushie. She is not as bad as people say she is. I'm putting her in B tier. She's not F worthy. She's Chica. Is she great? No. Is she really that bad? Not really. She's really not that bad. Now the next one, we have Foxy. Now Foxy, in my opinion, he's alright. There's not too much you can do with Foxy. Not too much you can do with any of the wave ones, really. But he's Foxy. He's alright. Not too much to say about him. He's going in A tier. There he goes. He's alright. And now, oh, we still have Toy Foxy. I forgot. Toy Foxy. Eh. I'm gonna be honest. She's never been an official character in the game. Really weird of them to throw her into Series 1. Um, she's kind of like Foxy, but worse in my opinion. I'm sorry, she's going in B tier. She's alright. She's average. You know, she's alright. Now moving on to the exclusives. Starting off with the first exclusive, Toy Freddy. Now, Toy Freddy, I think he's pretty good. I think he's pretty good. Is he S tier? No. Is he pretty good? Yes, he is. He will go over an A tier because, well... It's Freddy, but Toy Freddy, not too much to say about him. Now, next up, we have Golden Freddy. I don't know about you guys, I'm just going to say this Golden Freddy's S tier. He's Freddy, but even better. Even I don't know how, Freddy plus you, maybe, maybe it's just the eyes or something. I love him. Golden Freddy, S tier. Boom, he's an S tier. And the very last plushie we have of Series 1 is Shadow Freddy. Ooh, Shadow Freddy. If some of the plushies are kind of messed up on the camera, like I'm doing like this or something, that's because I can't see the camera, so it might be a little hard to see. Shadow Freddy, very cool plushie. He's super expensive, but compared to the actual Shadow Freddy, he is not very accurate at all. I love him because of how expensive he is, but compared to the real Shadow Freddy, he's really not that great at all. So I know this is crazy. I know this is crazy. Shadow Freddy's going in B tier. I'm trying to be unbiased. You know, think of them as like the actual characters, how accurate they are. He's going in B tier. He's not great. So moving on to series two, starting off with... Nightmare Freddy! Nightmare Freddy! Again, he's not bad. He's Freddy, but Nightmare. I think he's pretty good. I like him. I think he does, you know, the plush accuracy. He does a great job being Nightmare Freddy. So, he's going on over an A tier. Now, the next one we have is Nightmare Foxy. Nightmare Foxy, he's alright. They just kind of ruined the Foxy plush, in my opinion. The metallic feet don't really do it for me. The ears are really tiny. The eyes look kind of weird. He's alright, I guess. Definitely not F tier. But he's going in B tier. He is alright. He's alright. What can I say about him? We're not doing it in order of normal exclusives. I'm just kind of grabbing them in the piles. Do I need to say more? Nightmare Bonnie? S tier. I don't even know what to say. I love him. He's beautiful. Look. Look at him. Oh my god, he's so cool. I love him. Boom. S tier. 
There he goes, right next to Golden Freddy and Bonnie. I love him. I think he's a great plushie. So my favorite plush wave is actually Series 2. Another one, Toy Chica. Need I say more? Need I say more? It's Toy Chica. Look at her. Genuinely, one of the best, the best Chica plushie they've ever made. Has just amazing features. I love how she's looked. And it's not just because she's sexy and it's a funny joke. I think she is an amazing plushie. S tier. Another S tier. I love her. I don't know what else you want me to say. Now, a very, very controversial one. <laughs> Toy Bonnie. I'm going to be honest. Again, in the early, early seasons, he got a lot of hate. He got a lot, a lot of hate. He's not that bad. I'm keeping it real. He's not that bad, okay? He's all right. He's going in B tier. He's not F tier worthy. Look at him in his eyes. Not F tier worthy. He's not that bad, okay? He's not that bad. So, moving on to the next one. We have Mangle. She's definitely better than Toy Foxy. Definitely better than Toy Foxy. I kind of like her. You know, keeping it like the original Funko style, but still making it look like Mangle. I think they did a very good job with this. Mangle, A tier. Just a better Toy Foxy, honestly. I love her. Next one we have up uh, is um the puppet. I think puppet's pretty cool. Puppet's one of my favorite Finance and Freddy's characters. Um, plus it's definitely a little weird. The mask made of very weird materials, but meh, he's puppet. I think he's pretty cool. You know, he's doing his thing. I love the embroidering. So um, again, didn't have to put him in A tier. You know, he he really he's a great guy. Honestly, he really is. So next up we have Cupcake. This is literally just Cupcake from FNAF. This is a perfect plushie. This is S tier. Look at this. This is just like in-game. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love him. Love him. Now, the next plush we have, I love him so much, but he's just not good. Phantom Foxy. He looks nothing like Phantom Foxy at all. It is just Foxy, but green and metallic. Phantom Foxy is surprisingly one of my favorite FNAF plushies ever. I think he's so cool. I love the green and black metallic, but he looks nothing like Phantom Foxy. I can't put him in F tier. I can't do that, but I'm going to put him in B tier right next to Toy Bonnie. He's not that bad. He's not that bad. He's just... Ugh. He's not Phantom Foxy. Phantom Foxy is meant to be the Foxy Red with a whole bunch of lines on him. They just didn't get it right. And the very last one we have is... Springtrap. Some people don't like him. I think he's great. For being a chibi FNAF plush, keep in mind, you know, these are kind of meant to be like plushies you find in the game. He's amazing. I really think he is. Him, going in A tier. Look at him. That's Springtrap if I've ever seen him. Springtrap goes in A tier. Moving on to the third series. Really not a great one. Really not a great one in my opinion. I'm going to be honest, starting off with Circus Baby. I'm keeping it real. I hate this plush. I hate this plushie. F tier. I hate it. Next up, Ballora. If Circus Baby got F tier, you know where Ballora's going. Look at her. Really? Really? She's a cylinder. F tier. I don't like it. Don't like it at all. Next plushie. Ennard. Really? Really? This is what we got? Look at the new YouTube's one. The brand new YouTube's. It's amazing. This is what we get. He's kind of silly. He'll go in B tier. He's almost in F if he wasn't so silly. He's very silly. Next one. Fun time Freddy, really? Th this? I don't know if you guys know, really not a fan of the sister location wave at all. Really? He won't go in F tier. You know what? Ugh. He'll go in B tier. I don't like him. I don't like him. Fun time Foxy, really? This is what we get? This is, this is garbage. Really, we're getting Fun time Foxy? I can't. F tier. I don't care. F tier. I don't like it. I don't like it. Lolbit? I love Lolbit. Look at this. Funtime Foxy was so bad. Lolbit is amazing. Look at this. A tier. A tier. A tier. Lolbit. Funtime Foxy. F tier. Don't like it. Last two of the way. Bonnet. Are you kidding me? This is amazing. Why didn't they make a Bon Bon? My, my button's not centered. That pisses me off. But Bonnet. This is amazing. Bonnet. S tier. Bonnet is S tier. Sorry that it's an amazing plush. I'm realizing a lot of the Bonnies are in S tier. Bonnie isn't even my favorite character. Bonnie's nowhere close. Not sure. They just look really good. Last one. Exotic Butters. Anyone who hates this plushie, unsubscribe. This is the best FNAF plushie ever made. Are you kidding me? The Butters are Velcro. It was $10. A $10, really? This is S tier. This is the best. The best FNAF plushie ever made. If you disagree with me, Go. Goodbye. Goodbye. You're gone. What was the next series? 
It was black lights, I think, right? All right, so we're doing, we're moving on to black lights. I kind of like them, I won't lie. Pink, black light, Freddy. He's pretty cool. Stop messaging me on Discord. Stop doing that. I'm not talking to you. Pink, black light, Freddy. He's pretty cool. You know where he's going? Me too. He's all right. He's just pretty, but pink. Same with blue, Freddy. He's all right. They're average. Same thing with all three foxies. All three foxies. They're they're cool. I like the colors. Definitely not F tier. But they're alright. They go on B tier. Meh. Meh. Trying to, you know, stay kind of unbiased. I'm trying. Meh. They're alright. They're alright. The last two in the wave. Cupcake. Cupcake is still a great plushie. Blacklight goes in A tier. Look at those colors look so cool. Are you kidding? Look at him. I think my dog got him. Ew. Ew. He's cold. And Balloon Boy. Balloon Boy was included in this way. Look at him. He's so good. Are you kidding me? He's amazing. I love him. Balloon Boy. S tier. S tier. Cupcake. A tier. Pretty good. And now, because I don't know which ones go next, because they're so similar, I'm also doing the um, spring color wave, because they're like the exact same. I like them a lot more. They're a lot softer. They're very soft. I like the colors better. These Freddies go into A tier. I love their color. They're soft. The colors look cool. These are the softest FNAF plush they've ever made. I love touching them. I love touching them. Love touching them. They go there. The Foxies still great. Great colors. Love touching them. B tier. They don't do it like Freddy's. Yep. All B tier. All B tier. Can you see all those on the camera? How much more? Yeah, you can see this. Cupcake. Love how he feels. I love him. I love touching them. Love touching all of them. Cupcake. A tier. I love him. He's great. He's great. What was the next wave? It was Twisted Ones, I'm pretty sure. So, moving on to Twisted Ones. Yep, we have all the Twisted Ones. They're... Ugh. This wave, I don't know if you guys like the Twisted Ones. I hate them. These plush are awful. Look at this. Twisted Freddy, F tier. Twisted Bonnie, look at him, F tier. Twisted Chica, where do you think she's going? F tier. Twisted Foxy, oh, F tier. Ooh, that was a perfect go. Stanley. <laughs> the worst FNAF plush ever made. F tier. Don't like him. Theodore. B tier. He's aight. He's aight. You get in the corner. Get in the corner. Twisted Wolf. He's aight. He's aight. B tier. Meh. Meh. I feel very meh on him. Which way was next? It was... Pretty sure it was Pizzeria Simulator. Pretty sure it was Pizzeria Simulator. We're just going with that. We're just going with that. Rockstar Freddy. He's alright. He's alright. That's Rockstar Freddy if I've ever seen him. Same thing with Rockstar Foxy. He's alright. He's okay. He's big here. I don't feel too strongly about him. Lefty. He's better somehow. He's like the exact same plus as Rockstar Freddy. I like him. I like him. And you can't do anything about it. Orville Elephant. Very hard execution, I won't lie. He is a very hard FNAF plus to make, especially because of the trunk. They did alright. They did alright. Me too. Meh. He's alright. Big patch. Again, his head is so big. Look how big his schnauzer is, really? He's not that big, especially compared to his body. Meh. Me too. Meh. There he goes. A, a lot of these plush are meh. Helpy. The Jumbo Helpy looks great. The Tiny Helpy, his head is, again, very oversized. Very, very oversized head. B tier. Meh. Again, very meh plushies to me. Right? Happy Frog? I love her. This is a good plush. Look at this. This is a good Happy Frog plush. Happy Frog, A tier. Happy Frog is A tier. Uh, who do we have next? El Chip. He's a really great plush. Look at him. Tell me this is an L chip. Come on. He's great. Mine's a little lopsided. A tier. I'll have to go right there. A tier. He's great. Who else do we have? Mr. Hippo. It's Mr. Hippo. Are you kidding? He looks so accurate. Look at him. A tier. I love him. Love Mr. Hippo. He's great. What other exclusives do we have? Security Puppet? Dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? In the box? This is amazing. S tier. I love him. In the box? Are you kidding? S tier. I love it. Who else do we have? Spring Bonnie. Need I say more? 
need I say more? Spring Bonnie never even officially been in the game, and they gave her a plush. I mean her. I mean him. Whatever. Spring Esther, look. Come on, it's Spring Bonnie. Okay, it's Spring Bonnie. Next up, Phantom Balloon Boy. I really like him. Compared to the actual Phantom Balloon Boy, I think they did a very good job with him. Really like him. Looks a lot like Phantom Balloon Boy to me. Hey, Tim. I like him. I think he's great. And the last plush in the wave, I can't stay on bias for this one, Candy Cadet. The plush is so bad. The plush is so, so bad. Look at this. The plush sucks, but I love him. I love him. Give him a kiss. He's S tier. Because he's Candy Cadet and he's my favorite FNAF character of all time. I love Candy Cadet. Who was next? What series was next? I think it was Security Breach? I think it was. Well, maybe. We're going with it. Security Breach plushies. Get them on here. Security Breach and the Blacklight Security Breach ones. Okay. Starting off, Glamrock Freddy. A lot of these plushies really aren't great. Look at him. Really? Ugh. Blah. Blah. I mean, he's alright. I'll put him in B tier. He's not F tier. Montgomery Gator. I think he's not bad, honestly. That's that's Montgomery if I've ever seen him. He's not great. B tier. Again, it looks like him, but that's about all I can say. It looks like him. She's the best one in the way. I love her. Look at her. Blair Mark Chica. I think she looks very good. Very accurate. A tier. A tier. Roxanne Wolf. Meh. B tier. That's all I have to say about her. It kind of looks like Roxanne, I guess. I think the YouTube plush did it a lot better. Meh. And the last one in the wave. You know exactly where this one's going. Rawr! Yeah. The black lights. Really? Did we really need black light security breach? Was this really necessary? The plush already weren't great. Really? F tier. Bah! F tier. Blah. F tier. Blah. Couldn't even find Monty. I don't care. I don't care. I don't like him. I don't care. Who was next? It was the Curse of Dreadbear, I believe. So we'll get those ones out now. Curse of Dreadbear. Burr? Not bad. You know, again. Eh. Curse of Dreadbear. Starting off with Dreadbear himself. He's amazing. Come on. Come on. Look at him. Look at his smile. He's smiling for the camera with his big pearly whites. A tier. Look at him. He's great, okay? He's a great guy. <sighs> captain Foxy. He's a captain, all right. B tier. He's okay, I guess. He's okay. Grim Foxy, I love him. Look at this guy. Look at him. Look how happy he is. Come on, that's A tier. He's amazing. I love him. These plushies I have gripes with. I... Come on, really? They did the original Nightmare plushies really good. They were A and S tier in my opinion. And they give us this. I can't curse on a children's channel. But if I could, you know what I'd be saying. I'd be cursing up a storm if I could. These plushies? Garbage. You know, I'll, I'll put in curse bleeps like I'm saying stuff. Bleepity bleep, bleep blop bloop. These, F. Wah! Wah! After, what was next? It was... What's FNAF AR? The FNAF AR plushies? Um, I'm... I'm including them all together. Just any FNAF AR characters are part of the FNAF AR wave for me. I know some of the other characters are from different waves. Uh, I'm not bothering with all that. VR Toy Freddy. He, I think he's... Eh. Compared to the normal Toy Freddy, who is a A tier for me, he's B tier. They just kind of ruined him, in my opinion. I love the material. They tried their best. Best wasn't good enough. Toy Bonnie. They fixed him. They fixed our boy. He's beautiful. They made the ears perfectly floppy. I love him. Look at that. Printing? Meh. Material? It works. A tier. That's an A tier plush. That's an A tier. Who do we have next? I score Toy Chica. Hi, Toy Chica, right? S tier plush. This? <sighs> I know it's like almost the exact same plush, but there's something about it. That's just not good. It's just not good. And it'll go in B tier. I don't even want to stand over there. Who do we have? Oh, Foxy. 
Radioactive Foxy. Ugh. Eh, eh. He look his head's big and weird, but I kind of like him. The jumbo plush looks a lot better. B tier, don't even want to walk over there. Doesn't even earn it. Doesn't even he fell in the A pile, but he is not A tier. Then the inverted ones, really? Really, we really needed inverted ones. We did, because I like the pink a lot better. Pink is A tier. Oh, pink's A tier. Who's gonna stop me? No one. Pink is A tier. Who do we have now? Bonnie. Oh, Hey, how do you take that thing off? Maybe you're supposed to pay. They never took it off when my dad bought it. F tier. Color's ugly. Don't like it. Chica, literally the exact same, except it's slightly lighter. Garbage. F tier. Don't like it. Where's Foxy? Here he is. Yellow, really? He was already not great. F tier. No one wanted those besides the pink one. Um, Angry, VR Toy Freddy. It's a cool concept. Poor execution. B tier. He'll go along with him. Who else do we have? Uh, there's a lot more Freddies. Shamrock Freddy? I love- okay. Come on. That's a cool plushie. Shamrock Freddy, they did a great job with him. I'm gonna waddle my way on over to A tier. Shadow Freddy, he's great. Who else do we have? Candy Freddy. Funko's own character, they did an amazing job. A amazing job with him. A tier. Not S tier, he's not- I'm gonna waddle my way over again. You know. <laughs> the last Freddy we have in the wave. Frost Bear. Top five FNAF plushies ever made. Are you kidding me? Look how just beautiful he is. S tier, gonna waddle my way on over. Boom! S tier. Who else do we have in this wave? FNAF AR wave? Chocolate Bunny. Woo! The first two FNAF AR plush they made with Chocolate Bunny and Frost Bear hit it out of the park, and then the rest of them were all right. Chocolate Bunny? S tier. I'll get up for him. S tier. Dude, almost every single Bonnie plush is in S tier, and I don't know if I'm biased. I genuinely can't tell. Liberty Chica? She's really, really, like, the one of the best Chicas they've ever made. She's so accurate to her character. She has her cupcake. The only Chica to have her cupcake. One of the best Chicas they've ever made. Genuinely, A tier. She earned that A tier spot. Last one of the wave. Never even done a review. Still has his tag. I can't remember if I was going to put him in a unbox like unboxing video or not. Uh, Frost Balloon Boy. He's great. I love him. His legs are really long. He's worse than both Balloon Boys, so he's a B tier. That for me. That's basically B tier at that point. Uh, who else do we have? Oh, the, uh, the tie-dyes. Tie-dye plush. Oh, tie-dye plush. Freddy, I genuinely love tie-dye Freddy so much, and I have no idea why. He goes in A tier. I don't even know why. I wish I could tell you. He goes in A tier. Bonnie? Uh, B tier. Bonnie goes in B tier. I'm gonna be honest, the tie-dye the plush are really good. Chica, A tier, look at her. They really improved the original Chica design. Compared to the original one that we got, which wasn't great, she went in B tier. They just improved her a lot more. She goes in A tier. They just fixed the original Chica design. I think they did a great job. Foxy, he's fat. Why is he so fat? They made him really fat. I don't like his colors. F tier. I don't like him. Same thing with Toy Foxy. Why does she look like that? Why does she look so ugly? You didn't have to do her like that, and she's super fat, dude. That's gross. F tier. I don't like her. Who else do we have? Oh, the three fan burst plushies. I never found Springtrap. He never came into stores. Uh, he would go in B tier if I could find him. Candy Cat, dude, dude. He's so good. He's Candy Cat is so good. Candy Cat is so good. A tier. Almost S tier. Almost. But, um, I don't know. Blake, Pop Goes is cool, right? Dude, we need the Badger. Did we need the Badger? I would put him in F. But they did such a great job on him. He's gonna go with me. They, I would put him in F, but they just did such a good job on him. Pop Goes, Kane Carter. He's a cool guy. I talked to him a few times on Twitter. He'll go in A tier. I like him. He's a good blush. He's cool. I like him. We're on to the last series now. Uh, last year is not doing reversible heads or stuff. Those are crap plush. I don't like them. You want me to rank the, the reversible heads? You want me to rank them? Reversible. Garbage. Garbage. F tier. They're gross and they feel weird. I don't like them. Balloon Freddy. These balloon plushies? Are they Funko's own characters? Maybe. Are they from Security Breach DLC? Maybe. I love them. They look great. They look super cartoony. They look really good. D not a fan of the printing? We'll go in A tier. Love the balloon plushies. Circus plush on the other hand. I don't like them. They're ugly, they're gross, and I don't like them. F tier. Don't like them. 
Circus Bonnie, are you kidding? I love Bonnie's. Almost all the Bonnie's go in F tier. I mean, S tier. Him? Disgusting. F tier. Don't like him. Circus Foxy, look at him. Look how sad he is. Feel sad for him. Because he's going in F tier. Don't like the circus. But Balloon. Balloon Foxy, I love him. He's a great guy. He will go in A tier. And well, that concludes the ranking. Please let me know in the comments whether you guys agree or disagree. You guys are probably going to mostly disagree, but that's the point of this video. I want to know what you guys think. These, these piles kind of jumbled together. S tier, best FNAF plush of all time, in my opinion, is Exotic Butters. Absolutely love him. Worst FNAF plush of all time is um, Stanley, wherever he is. The Stanley plush. Uh, yeah, can't even find him because I don't care. And I, oh, there he is. Worst FNAF plush ever. All the other plush, A tier's pretty good, B tier's alright, F tier's garbage. I would not recommend buying any F tier plushies. A, S tier, buy immediately, A and B, you know, get them if you want. But I want to know, what do you guys think of this ranking? Please tell me your opinions, and look at all these duplicate plushies. So while I'm sorting through my plush, these are basically all the duplicates I have, besides the Sanchees, those aren't included, ignore those. These are basically all the duplicates, I have way too many, so you know we're giving some away. If you want to enter into the giveaway to win a ton of these duplicate Finders of Freddy's plushies, I have like a really good amount of them. If you want any of these duplicates, you know the three classic Puggle rules. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment saying you finished all three steps and you were entered into the giveaway. And tell me which one you want in this pile. Just look through. I have a ton of duplicates, whatever you guys would like. Not the Sanchees. Those are for giveaways. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you all later. Good. So, at the end of every single video, I'm going to be unboxing a piece of fan mail. So, let's see what we have in this one. If you guys would like to send me anything, here is the P.O. Box address on screen to send me absolutely anything and everything, and I will unbox every single piece of fan mail I get in a video. So, if you want to be featured in a video, send me fan mail, and you will guarantee be featured. So, let's open this up and see what we have inside. We have... <gasps> Whoa! A custom improved... Glamrock Freddy plushie. Whoa, would you look at that? They improved the Funko one. They added the, the, the spikes on his dress. They gave him his shoulder pads, his earring, fixed his eyes, gave him the ring on his top hat, and made the lightning bolt improved. Let's see if they also sent a letter without it. No, there's no letter. Here, let me at least, at least read the name. This is from B. Murley. B. Murley, this is a absolutely amazing Glamrock Freddy custom plushie. I love how he looks, and it's the soft Glamrock Freddy 2, one of the newer versions of the plush, which is super cool. This is so cool, and thank you, B. Murray, for sending me- B. Murley? B. Murley. For sending me this amazing Glamrock Freddy custom plushie. This will be featured in a FNAF toy unboxing video, and if you guys would like to send me anything, here's the address on screen to send anything and everything to a Puggles Pizzeria P.O. Box, which I will unbox on camera. And yeah, make sure to subscribe, and that's it for this video. Good.